It's a beautiful day. It's really quite warm as well. And I'm having yet another attempt at doing a weekly vlog in the vain hope that I'll get time to edit it. <laughs> Saturday, off to beat camp. Beautiful, sunny spring day. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It's been raining, but the sun's come out now. And we're staying up at the flat to sort one or two things out, put up some of the new furniture, finish off some painting, getting everything ready for the baby arriving in two weeks' time. Yay! I'm just going to go and buy some more coffee because we've run out and get some nice fresh croissants and things. Everybody. I've come up to the flat for a few days, got some lovely flowers that I got for Mother's Day and the blossom is out, glimpses of blossom in the garden, well other people's gardens, I think there's something at the end of our garden. Hilary's baby is overdue and I thought I'd come up and do some last things in the flat to make sure everything's ready in case Adam's parents want to come and stay because they live a bit further away and then Hilary texted me yesterday when I was at work to see if I wanted to pop in on my way home and spend a bit of time with her while Adam was out. What she didn't tell me was that her waters had broken so when I got there she was starting to have some quite strong contractions. Got a text from Adam at about half past eleven which I was asleep by then but when I woke up in the middle of the night checked my phone and saw the text um, to say that she was in established labour and had been admitted. So we're just waiting to hear. Ooh, exciting. People keep asking me if I'm really excited about the baby arriving and 
Ooh, there's a fox in the garden. Hmm. Oh, he's got a limp. Oh, well. Poor fox. Anyway, people keep asking if I'm excited about the baby arriving. And of course I am, but <clears throat> I keep thinking, should I be more excited? And I have to remind myself that I'm the kind of person that gets very excited at the last minute, <laughs> um, or nervous or, or whatever. Um, but also, I think what I'm feeling is more joy about my daughter having this amazing experience of being a mum and also, you know, concerned that she's safe and well. And the reason that the obstetrician allowed her to go overdue when originally she was saying she wouldn't because of Hilary's spina bifida condition is that Hilary is so well and so healthy and so mobile and she was happy for it to all happen naturally. So I will keep you posted. I'm off to work now. Good morning everyone. I have got so out of the habit of vlogging that I forgot to pick up the camera and tell you that Hilary had her baby last night. It's a little girl. It was a bit of an anxious wait, but finally at, at 9.45, Adam texted to say that we have a lovely granddaughter. And um, yeah, she had a natural birth. So I'm looking forward to catching up with Hilary later and hearing all about it. I'm just really glad Hilary's safe and has had a safe delivery. Good morning everyone. So Hilary wasn't able to come home from hospital yesterday. She had to see the midwife again or something like that. So she texted me to say, could I pop in to the hospital? So I went to St. Thomas's, which is right opposite the Houses of Parliament and saw my new baby granddaughter. Hilary and Adam are not very keen for um, the baby to be all over social media. So I didn't vlog any of that, but it was lovely to see Hilary see how well she is and um, although it was very stressful and anxious waiting knowing she was in labour it sounded like it was quite straightforward but long labour and yeah and the baby was a very good size nine pounds 15 ounces don't know what that is in kilograms um, but yes, I thought Darcy was enormous and she was nine pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> but I don't think that was a problem in the delivery. I think it's just very long baby, could be very tall. <laughs> so really cute little tiny little features. And yeah, it's gonna be great being a grandma. beautiful blossom. I'm off to Ikea to get bits for the flat so that it's welcoming for everybody coming to stay and there's enough mattresses etc. Good morning everyone. It's about half past seven and I'm going to pop round and give Hilary a hand before I go to work. Suddenly hitting her what motherhood is all about. And motherhood continues for me. <laughs> so one of the really cool things about working in London is I've just been out for a curry with my workmates and walking home you're going past all these amazing London landmarks so this is the Tower of London In front of me is Tower Bridge and I'm just walking back to London Bridge Station enjoying the amazing views.
So there's the gherkin that I brought past every day on my way to work. And this is how near Tower Bridge it is. And then just walking along the south bank. And that, I think, is the Mayor's Office, City of London Council Offices. And it's hiding the Shard at the moment. And the Shard is right above London Bridge Station which is two stops away from the Brockley station which is the nearest station to the flat and that's the HMS Belfast which I think you can rent out for events and there might be a restaurant and a bar on it I'm not sure that's the mayor's office from the other angle and now you can see the shard and that's the Tower of London from a different angle. Next to Tower Bridge. Because obviously I'm the youngest, so I've never seen like mm. someone there relate to that's like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.